hello everyone and welcome back today i share this recipe i call plantain and egg pizza so keep watching let's begin first i'm going to peel some ripe plantains these plantain have been washed already you want to wash it so you don't transfer that to the plantain itself once that is done go ahead and cut them into any shape you like you can cut this into a round shape or just go ahead and cut them into the regular plantain shape okay so once that is done I'm going to add a bit of salt you can add salt if you like the salt for the plantain is optional so add some salt toss it around and then we're going to shallow fry them in some oil Today's hog is for Samuel Obunna watching from Germany. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hog in my next video. Once the plantains are golden brown, scoop them out and set it aside. In another pan add some oil little amount of oil then i'm going to add some chopped onions and saute these for about a minute after one minute of sauteing the onions i'll add some red bell pepper chopped some tomatoes and some scotch bonnet pepper to season this i like to keep it really simple with just seasoning cubes and salt feel free to add curry thyme or whatever seasoning you prefer so now i'm going to let this fry for another two minutes So at this point, I'm going to pour in the beaten eggs and then from this point, you want to lower your gas to medium low heat because we want this to simmer on low heat. Next, I'm going to add the fried plantains on it. I'm just going to arrange it gently like so on the eggs and then let it simmer on medium low heat. I'm going to cover this up anyway and just let it do its thing. But here I added some basil leaves which I love. I love the fragrance it brought to this. You can also use curry leaves in place of basil. And then once it hardens up like this, you know it is ready. You guys, promise me you'll try this recipe. The kids will love it and it's also a great breakfast idea. So yeah, enjoy this over a glass of orange juice with some tea and I'm sure you'll love it. Send me your pictures on Instagram at joyfulcook underscore if you get to try this out. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.